now joining us here on the phone ahead of the conference call is Roku CEO Anthony Wood. Anthony, just trying to go through, through your numbers here. It does look like a revenue miss, and that is hurting the stock down about 10 percent. Give us a little quarter as to, to what you saw over the last few months. A little color. Sure. Well, me. yeah, color. So I think, first of all, we had an incredible year in 2021 overall. Uh, you know, net revenue was $2.8 billion, up 55 percent year over year. Uh, you know, the, uh, the Roku channel, which is, a, you know, one of our key assets, reached households with 80 million people. Platform revenue was $2.3 billion, up 80 percent. So, you know, we had a great year, and the world is moving to streaming. There's still, it's still, from our business standpoint, it's still pretty early days in the transition of the world to streaming. So there's a lot of growth to come. A lot of people worried on the stock, and it has gotten hit over the last few months, as I've said, about this pull forward in demand during COVID. That, that's hurt other companies. We saw it in Netflix. Netflix had a disappointing quarter. And then there's also this concern about saturation in markets like the U.S. with what, what you're trying to build out. So how do you address those concerns, given the reaction and the numbers? Yeah, well, I mean, you know, if I'm, I, I am focused on the long term and, the, and of course, the midterm, you know, like we, we how do we keep expanding our, our we already have a significant leadership position in the market, but how do we keep expanding that leadership position? And there's lots of ways to do that. And that's what we're focused on. So if you look at active account growth, for example, you know, there's still considerable room for active account growth. Uh, you know, if you just think of the big picture, the big picture is that in the United States, you have TVs, you have smart TVs. And smart TVs used to be uh, all based on the proprietary operating system, and they're, but they're transitioning to a licensed uh, smart operating system. And this is the same trend we saw with desktops and phones. If you go back to desktops, there used to be lots of different platforms for PCs, but now there's Windows and there's Mac OS. If you look at phones, same thing. There used to be lots of proprietary phone operating systems, and now there's Android and there's iOS. And if you look at TVs, it's the same thing that's happening now. There used to be lots of different kinds of TV software platforms, and it's consolidating around a few large licensed OS winners. And Roku is the number one streaming operating system in the country. We're the leader in that. And so as that transition continues, uh, which is not complete yet, that will continue to, that will provide the method by which we'll continue to grow our market share. So, you know, the number of active accounts is still going to keep growing. There's lots of room to grow that. And then, of course, there's global expansion, which is doing extremely well. But then there's also... Uh, the amount we monetize per active account. Mm -hmm. you, know, there's, we, we, you know, we monetize our active accounts through content distribution, through advertising. And, you know, our platform business, which is the measure of our monetization, was up 80% in 2021. Uh, you know, ARPU in the quarter was up 43%. Right. And yet there's still tons of room to grow that. Like I'll just point to one big example. If you look at the, the number of people that are watching TV by streaming, 45% of TV viewership now is, is streaming versus traditional TV, but only 18% of TV advertisers have moved their dollars to streaming. So, you know, and all TV advertising is, is going to be delivered to streaming, and that has just barely started. So, there's, you know, that's our focus is focusing on those big opportunities and making sure we continue to execute on them. Is one of those opportunities, Anthony, Anthony manufacturing televisions that surfaced in a report recently, and I'm wondering what you can tell us about that. Well, I mean, we don't, we don't obviously comment on rumors, but the Roku, the Roku TV program is one of our core and most successful assets. So, you know, just for people who don't know, uh, Roku TVs are the number one TV in the United States. They, the way that program works is we develop the complete reference design soft, software and hardware, and then we license the TV brands that then sell them to stores. And then we work with also with retailers to help merchandise those TVs. And so... That's the Roku TV program, super successful. It's the number one TV in the United States. It's growing rapidly international as well. For example, in Mexico, we just passed 20% market share for TVs. Um, but I would say it's kind of, it's, you know, if I look back, why is, that t why is that program so successful? There's two primary reasons. One is the software, the full software stack, the operating system that we built, this purpose-built for television. You know, it's the only purpose-built operating system for television, whereas our competitors all basically take phone operating systems and, and port them to TV. So that's one. So we have the best software stack, and that's one reason. But the other reason is we're a great partner. You know, we work well with TV companies. We provide a full-service stack, and we're just a good partner. So those are the two, those are the two reasons that program is successful. 
so what about advertising, Anthony? What type of growth are you seeing there, and how, how are your own channels doing that you're that you're putting ads on? We're seeing uh, advertising is doing great. I mean, just tactically, there was uh, some some softness in the quarter in certain ad verticals that were impacted by supply chain issues, and a little of that will continue. But the in, in the in this quarter in Q1. But if you look at the big picture in 2021. You know, we uh, we doubled the number of monetized ad impressions on the platform. So the number of ad impressions that we monetized doubled. Uh, one of the biggest sources of advertising inventory for us is the Roku channel, which you just sort of mentioned. The Roku channel reached households with an estimated 80 million people in 2021. The Roku channel is doing great. Um, so yeah, I mean, the ad business the ad business has a huge amount of potential. Like I, like I mentioned before, we believe all. TV advertising is moving to streaming, but only 18% of the dollars have moved so far.